Alrighty. Hello, everyone. Very fitting music. It is indeed very fitting. So, in case anyone was not aware, a little quick schedule switcheroonie. Up next is, in fact, Void with Donkey Kong Country 2. Bit of a last minute swap. Because of that, uh, I'm actually going to hand this off to uh, to CJ, who was originally planning on doing the commentary for that. So uh, the person who's in control for this next next run is going to be CJ. Finally, CJ has come back to launch party. Thank you, CC, for the handoff. It's been a great day three. We're coming into the prime of the schedule right now. We've got Donkey Kong Country 2 by Void, Ratchet and Clank All Gold Bolts by Zem. We have Clocky doing Crash 4 and doing Spyro Year of the Dragon. And then, of course, we have the end, the nightcap, the ending, you know, crescendo of the evening. TGH. I mean, doing Minish Cap, that's going to be a lot of fun. So. We are a little behind. I'm not going to belay you with a ton of extra information, but I am going to tell you that we're $120 away from our next incentive. It's the last incentive for today, and then everything else is gravy. So we can all stop being stressed about, is this the run that's not going to have the incentive? You know, I keep saying this over and over again, and it gets people like, you know, they're putting their hands on their heads, and we haven't missed one. And at some point, I kind of wish that we will miss one. Because I'm like, this, the, we can't do it forever, and the pressure is just getting so crazy every time, every every event, every run, you know? So, thank you to everybody that's donated and helped raise so much money for the kids. And I want to say that uh, we are the only people right now raising money for uh, Save the Children, Survive to Vive campaign, making sure that every child gets to make it to their fifth birthday. We're the only people currently live with that campaign and we just hit the max tier for that campaign so the max tier for that was two thousand dollars we just hit that tier so congratulations to everybody that helped make that happen if you were a part of that if you've been watching if you've been donating if you've been subscribing if you've been telling your friends and tweeting and liking and watching the videos if you've been doing anything to support the show we really appreciate it you know, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, tell your neighbors' kids. They have little fingers. They have a hard time pushing the buttons. A little quip back from my speedrun insider days, which will be coming back at some point. So we are doing that. And I just want to point out one other thing really quick. Not a big deal. I see how it is, Shuli. No, it's okay. Uh, the last thing I want to point out is that we are $376 away from our next in from our goal from our goal for the whole event. So we are $376 away and we have one more entire day. So get your donations in. That is $376 away from our goal. Without further ado, we're going to take a quick pause to cause we're going to pay some bills keep the lights on we're gonna hear a quick word from our charity when we come back we'll be live with donkey Kong country 2 any percent by void stay tuned driven an hour out into the desert and this really is where hunger, the economic crisis and climate change all collide in Afghanistan. There's no safe water for miles around here. There's just one well that families here tell me causes diarrhea and contains toxins. Before the crisis, the villagers could afford to get water trapped in in tankers. Um, but now they just can't afford it. The price of one tank has doubled and all the families here are struggling and don't know where their next meal is coming from. Save the Children for the moment has stepped in. We bring in one truck of water every week, which is really the only safe drinking water that families here have access to. 
One of the ways that families here try to get enough water is by collecting rain in plastic sheeting that then funnels into pits under the ground that they've dug. And sometimes they're forced to drink that despite the fact the water's stagnant and dirty and causes diseases like diarrhea. Thankfully, um, at the moment, we're chucking water out here, so that isn't necessary. But that's what families were going through before Save the Children's water tank has reached this area. All right, everybody. Sorry for the brief change in schedule, but I mean, we're thrilled to have him here. It's the, you know, the monochrome master himself. It's Void. What's going on, pal? Yo, what's up, CJ? Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what are we doing today? Uh, today, we're going to be doing uh, a speed game that I haven't done in three weeks. Uh, DKC2 any percent. So it should be a uh, good old time. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Well, uh, let us know when you're ready. Give us a countdown. We'll get the show on the road. All right. In three, two... One, Smurf! So, uh, how much do you know about this run, actually, CJ? How much do I know? I made an hour and a half video about it, so I know at least that uh, you're really good at it. Yeah, it's, it's, that's not a bad assessment. I know that World 1 and 2 are uh, rare, put in a bunch of, like, intended warp battle barrels. Mm -hmm. Kind of like to help like players that have played the first two levels like a ton of times get to the later stages quicker So the first two stages I know are a little uh, quicker. Yep. Uh, let me see what else I remember um, I also know that that's a wrong warp. Yep that we just did um, Yeah, you can like do something in, in a certain position and when you're holding something and you can hold nothing And then you throw it and then you end up in a you go a barrel appears and you warp and that, uh, that's my slap shot explanation of it. That's completely accurate, indeed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I also know that, that one of, some of the base movement that you're going to be seeing here uh, from him is that you're going to be rolling as much as possible. You know, when he's not jumping and wrong warping or, or swimming, as the, the, the case may be. You're going to roll. Uh, you can extend the length. You can extend the s length and speed of your roll. Uh, you can do an extendo, right? If you roll through enemies, um, so like if you if you see him like in front okay. of a bunch of enemies, uh, extendos are in DKC one. So this this Damn. is where your memory is failing you. Damn, <laughs> I was close. You were close. All right. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna fight the 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 crow. Yeah, the crow. So this guy is the biggest instance of RNG in the run. Uh, for the next two phases, you can give me what we call fake eggs, and each fake egg can lose between two and three seconds. And this is uh, not a great start. Okay. Two would be fine. Three would still be fine. Okay. Three it is. <laughs> Three it is. You, you reached the bargaining stage of grief. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Yeah. So yeah, three fakes. Normally, if this were a PB attempt, I would reset. I usually can take two two fakes or better than that, but it is what it is. Mm -hmm. So for World 2, more or less the same as in World 1. We're gonna be doing either uh, a few wrong warps, like the one I just did right here, or we're gonna take those warp barrels that CJ just talked about. Uh, Cannon's Claim is a good example of a warp barrel. There you go. So what I just did right there is called a Team Throw Super Jump. So when your Kong, when your Kong returns back to you after throwing it at an, at an enemy, uh, you can jump again in midair and that gives you enough height to load that war barrel so that you can uh, get into it from below instead of the intended way which would be from above. Uh, if you don't have enough height, the war barrel is just not going to load. Mm -hmm. So I think something to maybe help people understand that maybe didn't play this game uh, as kids. Uh, so you're seeing us go, and maybe this game is a little harder to understand because it's a, it's you're moving from screen to screen. We're not going to the screens you're supposed to go to. Like when we like we entered this level like a minute ago, and we had one level. Now we have every level unlocked, and we're like, you know what I mean? Like we're going through. So 
you see us like going off screen and going into other places it's we're going other places we're not supposed to go which is why they call them wrong warps yep so essentially, like wrong warps are in this game at least they're fail safes. The, they they operate the same way a fail safe would, uh, and they're a property of the fact that like uh, normally wrong warps would crash the game. They're they're a known bug, but when the devs came up with the 1.1 version, instead of crashing the game, they decided to make the wrong warp uh, kick you out of the level instead, and it opens up the world map for whatever reason for you to go to the next area, which is exactly what CJ uh, just mentioned. Yeah, I... It's, uh... It's comp... It's, it's tricky, you know? This is the last... This is the last broken Donkey Kong game, because... Three is not broken. Three is not that broken. Yeah, not not compared to this game or DKC One. DKC One is super broken. Yeah, DKC One is like literally chewing chewing gum and scotch tape. This game is like it looks good on the outside and then it's borky on the out in the inside. Yeah. And then DKC Three is like we learned from our lessons. Yeah. <laughs> we have learned from our past mistakes. Flying Diddy for defense. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Diddy gets it done. Yeah. I did a thing uh, in this uh, boss fight uh, that's called Lava Flight. It saves four seconds. It's a pretty tough trick. Uh, there's this guy on YouTube uh, called Void. He made a really good video about Lava Fly. You guys should subscribe to his YouTube channel. Yeah, you should. He's great. I heard. I heard. I've heard. Hard, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So Barrel Bayou, uh, World Three. This is where uh, the game really begins. So no intended uh, war barrels anymore. Uh, we're gonna have to play the video game, and unfortunately, we have to play with Rambi now, which uh, is less than ideal. Heck, Rambi. Heck All my Rambi. homies hating it. Hey, Rambi. Thankfully, he behaved, so that's nice. Remy can be really trolly <laughs> in, in this level. Right here, team throwing into this barrel to set up a super jump. So the next time I take damage, I'm just gonna be on this float coming up. Uh, I'm gonna gain extra height, which allows me to skip this pit right there. It's called the Trick Swamp Fly. It says about six seconds. Really not that hard to learn. All right. Mm. I like the swampy levels. They're kind of cool looking. They're pretty cool, yeah. They also have that, uh, you know, that Phil Collins song playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yo, gu yo, uh, Gusty Glade wrong warp eyes. Uh. Well, I, I'm I'm just saying things out loud. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 well, <laughs> well, CJ, you see, um. There won't be a Gusty Glade wrong war of this run. That's okay. You know, I, uh, part of me knew. Yeah. Part of me, part of me that's, knows that's why I said it. Yeah. But speaking of things that I probably shouldn't have said out loud, we have a $50.70 donation from Anonymous. Ooh. Yeah. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Anonymous. Thank you, Anonymous. Yep. We are now... Uh, let's see. No one can do that math in their head. I had to look it up. I think we're seventy dollars away from the incentive now. Yo, you're gonna want to see Blue Diddy. This is like all style. Yeah, we are. We're sixty nine dollars and thirty cents away. So. Nice. Nice. Yep. I wonder if Mr. Anonymous uh, fucked up the math and wanted to do sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents away from the incentive. Uh, you know what? Anon totally messed it up. It's okay. <laughs> Sundays are for falling asleep for two hours in the middle of the day, right? I guess so. Okay, so this level, this is another swampy level that CJ loves. Uh, we're gonna do a wrong warp. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're gonna we're gonna do another wrong warp in this level, but this one's gonna be a little different from the ones uh, you've seen so far this run. We use this cutlass. Bait him to swing his swords into the ground and then uh, sacrifice our girlfriend to the donkey gods. And the donkey gods, after which, uh, after we, they, we end up sacrificing our girlfriend and enter this barrel, uh, they're pleased. So they uh, allow us to get to rattle battle. 
And you know, Rattle Battle, secretly the boss killer stage. This is actually one of the hardest stages in the game. Yup. Yep. And Ratley, uh, by the way, uh, secretly hated. You know? Secretly hated by uh, some some members of uh, the DTC community. Yep. But uh, yeah. th th they don't they don't know they don't know what I know, and I know that Ratley is the best animal buddy. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Bratley's pretty good. I like uh, I like Squitter, you know, the, like the spider. Is that the spider's name? Uh, Squitter, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, man, I can't get that. <laughs> it's got the sneaker. He's got the joints on, you know. It's yep. The, you, do you know? Do you know the names of the other animal buddies? Uh, on guard. Yep. Ramby. Yep. And. Uh, I should know the name of the bird, but all I'm gonna I'm gonna say Anankaz. Anankaz, that's that's a good guess. Mhm. Mm Very good yeah. guess. Is that all of them? I think I said. <laughs> What's the ostrich one? I don't remember the ostrich. Espresso is the ostrich. Espresso. But okay. espresso is only in DKC one. Yeah. Mm. See, I didn't remember him being in this one. What's the what the What's the bird's name? Squawks. Squawks. That's right. Squawks. They're good names for animals. Mhm. Mm yep. Alright, another wrong warp here. Good stuff, good stuff. And now uh, this is the this is the, the level that usually uh, helps people remember their childhood. Does it work for you, CJ? Every time that I see this level, I uh, I think of that Squidbird remix, which uh, is one of my favorite songs that they've ever made. The Squidbird remix. Yeah, the Sticker Bro Symphony. Remix, pretty good. Uh, I've heard of it. It's the uh, the the it's it's the song that plays in the beginning of the uh, best the uh, speed dog video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So today I learned. Today, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Shout out to Squidward. Play, made all the music that you're hearing in the intermissions for the event. Just Squidward. Yeah. You know, they also it, did. You know, it's not. It's, 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 it's not like I didn't help making uh, two Speed Docs videos. Hey, listen, two and a half. Yeah, that's Ooh. right. That's right. How... <laughs> <laughs> you were there for three. That, that's right. Yeah, I was there for three. Yep. We put your name in the credits, so you know, Hell on yeah. paper, three. You yeah. know, I, I get you trying to be modest, though, so we'll go with two and a half. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't have uh, too much to offer for three. The uh, the history for three uh, kind of preceded me. I, I, yeah. I, know, I know the history of uh, you know DKC3's presence. DKC3's presence is pretty hot at the moment. Oh yeah. 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 What's that? The uh, the, the the snowman guy. Bleak. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy. Oh, my homies say bleak. Same. I love frame perfect tricks in the middle of my run, don't you? Same. I love frame perfect tricks that are uh, audio cue reliant. Yeah. So, there is a good chance tomorrow during the game that I'm doing that uh, we're just gonna be like super, like, not be able to finish on time. <laughs> I see. Um, Mainly because uh, we're not good at it, and uh, we haven't had any time to practice because I've been super busy. I've been practicing individually, but as me and you discussed off the air, um, the online is doo-doo. So uh, there is a secret. I've discovered a new trick. It's game-breaking tech. It's a quadruple frame-perfect trick. Yeah. So if I do that, if I want, you know. It's big if flex. We can, it'll warp me to the end of World 8. Whoa! So I know, yeah, big, big, big skip, yeah. Big flex, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoarding this strat. I didn't tell the community I'm hoarding this strat in case I need to use it at launch party. <laughs> <laughs> Just the strat hoarders. You know what? We get a bad rap, but uh, you know what? I think that we have our place. <laughs> You know, I think it's okay as long as you're gonna get one record and then explain it. Yeah. Yeah, get your record, you know? Hoard the strats, get the record, and then, like, everyone will know about the strats you are hoarding. Yeah, exactly. 
Oh, we're going super fast. Yep. Uh, so that was scrolly scroll. Uh, it's a little tricky to explain, but essentially you trick the game into thinking that you're mounting Squitter and the hook at the same time. And uh, when when it, when that happens, um, the game gets confused. <laughs> it's become confused. Yep. And so it unlocks the camera when it does that. Uh, th that trick saves less time than you'd think, but it still does save time. All right, all right, I see. We got a $35 donation from Mama CJ. Yo, Mama that CJ. Says, that says, did someone say Blue Diddy? Plus a little something for Gaffy, because I missed his room. Or whatever for Gaffy in the chat, y'all. My mom, Gaffy, if you're still here, she got she got you. She didn't let you hang out to dry. She had to get you. She got you covered. So. She got you covered, yep. Yeah. So, and this is the NASCAR portion of Donkey Kong Country 2. Yeah, yeah. This is this is donation time, so I keep those donations coming. Yeah, exactly. We're getting real close. We're only like $30 away from the incentive. Yep. Yep, there we go. We got some Mama CJ love in the chat. This <laughs> Crunchy Brown says, this is such a bop. It's your number one fan. Void, it's uh, Crunchy Brown. Oh, it's Crunchy Brown. Hey, Crunchy Brown. Yeah, Void's number one fan. My number one fan, yep. Yeah, that's why he was subscribed to you that time that we checked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is, is, is he still subscribed? Oh, we're gonna check. Is, is, is my number one fan still subscribed? Cr Crunchy, uh, why don't you drop a Void W to prove you're still in the club? <laughs> So that was a pretty difficult wrong warp that I did, so glad I was able to do it first try. Yep. That one saves I mean, close to a minute. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, if you fail it, uh, lose about 30, and so yeah. I don't have to deal with that time loss. Uh, so this is uh, more donation time. Or... Yes, this is the time to get your donations in. We have plenty of time to read them. Uh, and by plenty, I mean like 45 seconds. Oh. I jumped too early there. Thankfully, I did not. Number two guy for the fans. That guy sucks. Number two guy has killed many a run. Mm -hmm. He's just a, he's a rascal. He is a rascal. <laughs> he accidentally ran a red light while watching Void because he's such a huge fan. Well, listen, like, I, 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 I don't condone uh, bad behavior at the wheel, despite, like, you know, being a big fan of me. That's true. You know, you gotta watch what you're doing. Both hands on the wheel, Crunchy. You can't have one hand in chat. But I'll, I'll, I'll always drive safely. You have Void W but fast check? Void W but fast? Uh... Great emote. Yeah. This, it was it was one of my favorite animated emotes before everybody got animated emotes. <laughs> so I was like I was like, yo, this is this is lit. It's yep. like this is just this is just a partner grind got this. Alright, 
Couldn't tell because I was focusing on this wrong warp. Got it. Uh, pretty nice mud hole marsh. Uh, this is another swampy level that CJ uh, likes so much. I do. I love. I love swamps. I love. It's me swamp, donkey. Yeah. Me swamp donkey. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Is that your boulder? That's a nice boulder. A shout out to Shrek. Shout outs to Shrek. What's your favorite Shrek movie? Uh, I'm gonna be an originalist. I'm gonna say the original. I know, I know that a lot of people like two. Two's got like a thing going on. Yeah. You know, like two's a two's a vibe. I think two's my favorite. Uh, mm hmm I uh, I didn't see two until I was way older, and I had seen like four and three first. Oh, okay. So I like I just was like oh I remember watching the original Shrek on VHS and being like oh this is hilarious this is like this isn't a Disney movie oh man this is really good <laughs> yeah yeah I know, right do you remember did you know that it was supposed to be Chris Farley as the original voice of Shrek no I don't even know who Chris Farley is you don't know who Chris Farley is nope. from uh, Saturday Night Live no nope. Wow. I'm, I'm French Canadian, so like a lot of stuff I don't know. Mm. Did you ever see like uh, Black Sheep or Tommy Boy or mm, anything? Negative. Nope. What else was Chris Farley in? Alright, you, you didn't see Chris Farley movie. There you go. Like, hey, like even, like even Shrek, like I didn't watch Shrek in like English version until like I, I, I was an adult. Like, mm. I, like, I've watched Shrek, like, dozens of times, but, like, the English version of Shrek, I've only watched maybe, like, once. Mm. So, do they, like, dub over it? Is it, like, a dub, or, like, they just straight up swap out the, the vocals? Yeah, yeah, it's a dub. Mm. Like, you hear the original voices? Oh, no, 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 yeah, they, they... Yeah. But that's what I meant, that's what I thought you meant by dub, they, they swap the voices. Ah, yeah, Well, I'm, I'm a big donut. <laughs> Do you, you, you prefer the, the, the dub or the sub for Shrek? Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a, that's the hot take for Shrek, right? It's like, are you a dub or a sub for, the, for, the, yeah. for Shrek? <laughs> I think it was like literally yesterday during like the last run of Voidathon, we started talking about Shrek and I was like, the only like bad Shrek movie is the third one. Did you like the fourth one? I think the fourth one is pretty decent. I think it's a lot less bad than people give it like like give it. That's the, the one with one. the Shrek babies and uh, uh Rumpel Stiltskin. Yeah, it's the one with Rumpel. Yeah, Rumpel. That's a weird one. Yeah, I remember seeing that in the theater. That was weird. I, I that's the only Shrek movie I ever saw in the theater was the fourth the fourth one. Oh well I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely it's uh It's not I the best it's, it's not the best one, but it's like definitely not as bad as the third one. The third one's the one where they have to go find King Arthur, right? Yeah. So they go find King Arthur and the the Oh, I remember the trailer for that one. It's like the HS announcer guy gives his thing over the commercial and then it hard cuts to um the frog on the leap head. I'm dying! Yeah. <laughs> that was the trailer for that movie. Yeah. Like, I, I think the big thing about the third Shrek for me was like, the, the, the movie is just not fun. It's not funny. Like, it's like, okay, like the, like, the frog dies in the first, like, 20 minutes of the movie. It's like, that's a bummer. And then, like, the movie just never picks up after that. It's just, it's just not funny. Like, the yeah, other, no, like, the first two Shrek movies are funny. And yeah, and then it's like they bring back the least interesting character from the Shrek, the second Shrek movie, to yeah. be the villain in the third one. Yeah, he, he just like, doesn't work as a villain. I, it's like, oh yeah, when I saw Prince Charming, I was like, oh, I need to see more of him. Yeah, uh, exactly. A shout out to Gamer Pidge in the chat. Yo, Gamer Pidge. Well, press one if you're a gamer. Press one if you're a gamer, or if Pidge has a huge knob. Mm-hmm, yeah. Crunchy Brown getting in line twice. Eleven. Eleven. All right, really quick, I just want to remind everybody, uh, we are coming up. I think we have, like, uh, 15 or 20 more minutes until that incentive needs to be met. 
Uh, we are at 105. We are $35 away, and we've never missed an incentive, but this could be it, you know? Could happen. Yeah. We are $34 away from Blue Diddy. Yeah. I guess if you want to see me save six seconds for free during this run, then I guess don't donate money for a good cause. Like, be That's the Grinch. Mm. <laughs> yeah, if you want to give him six seconds. and uh, But, you know, little girls in Afghanistan have to walk ten miles to get clean water. Uh, he'll understand. <laughs> but... <laughs> But you know, maybe, maybe drop, maybe drop that fiver. You know, it's like it's hard because you have to find videos for like the charity, you know, to put in like the marathon, to, like play, and they're all so sad. And so I stopped looking for ones that were less sad, and then just steered into the skid, and was like, I'm only gonna pick the saddest videos to play during the event. Damn. There's one where. The kids in Cambodia, their school kept getting destroyed because it kept getting flooded, so they built a school boat. Oh. Yeah, so they have a school boat. That's yeah, some Peter Pan shit. I know, right? Yeah. I wish it looked more like a pirate ship. It's like a room that someone put barrels underneath. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So it, so it floats. It's like a raft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The school raft. Mm. <laughs> yeah, let me. And the teacher comes and picks him up in a like a paddle boat. It's kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, if your it's, country it's, it's, is flooded, it's, it's, yeah, instead half of the, the year, instead of the school bus, then it's a paddle boat. I wish I could paddle boat to school. I wish that was a thing when I was a kid. Yeah, I mean, yeah. where do you live as a kid? Uh, it's some place I live now. It's like upstate New York. So not no flood waters up above my you know eyes. Mm. As was be the case in Cambodia, where yeah. they like, you know, the, the monsoon season hits and suddenly they live in Atlantis. <laughs> Atlantis, the Lost Empire. Did you ever watch that movie? I like watched it as one? a kid, yeah, but I didn't understand that much of it. I need to rewatch it to be fair, but to give it like a, a an honest assessment, like Void's honest I, movie assessment. Ugh, I didn't watch there. that movie. I didn't watch that movie at all. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, that my web just didn't come out. <laughs> he's throwing, he's throwing. Dude, 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 dude where's time. my web? <laughs> throwing for content. I had to make a list of all of the stuff that I need to watch because it's getting crazy. Yeah, I have, I, have a, I have a forever list of movies that I need to watch myself, so I, I, I relate. I uh, I finally decided I have to watch Jurassic Park. I've never seen a single Jurassic Park movie. Have you never Oh my god. Come nah, on. I never have. Come on, bro. I, and I'm like, okay, they're gonna make the sixth movie. I should probably watch any of the other movies. Yeah. But before I watch those, I'm gonna watch the new Rescue Rangers movie. I have never watched a Rescue Rangers movie. It's uh, it's new. It's uh, it's the Chippendale Rescue Rangers. It's the old TV show. Oh, okay. Chippendale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, big Chippendale fan. I am a, I am. Uh, and uh, the new ones just look so sad. Is, are you talking about Jurassic Park or are you talking about Chippendale? Anyways, so that movie came out and uh, I'm keen on watching it. Well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. To be to be honest with you, like regarding the the Jurassic Park movies, uh, the first one is like far and away the best one. It was it's like it was groundbreaking at the time. I still think it's like a classic. It, like it's, it, it it just aged really well, and like every other Jurassic Park movie after that is just like a pale imitation of it, in, in my mm. opinion. Mm, I see. Yeah. I hear you. Yeah. Ooh, right spawn. Yeah, I think they named them Jurassic World or something. Well, they, they, they also like had a, a Jurassic Park 2 and 3, and then they had the Jurassic World. Right, yeah. I didn't watch the second Jurassic World, the, whatever the, the name is, like Lost Kingdom or whatever. Like, I, f I feel like, I feel like, uh, you know, not for nothing, I feel like they all have the same plot. Mm -hmm. Like, 
That's all what right. I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. That they, it, it, like they all tried to like repeat like what the first one did. It's like, oh my God, there's dinosaurs. You probably shouldn't have done that. Why not? Yeah. Because they're big and they eat stuff. Oh, don't worry about it. They're domesticated, and then something happens, and now we gotta worry about it. Yep. And then it's like, oh. Now the dinosaurs are everywhere. They're feral now. It's like, oh, well, how'd that happen? You know, that's every movie. So this is Arctic Zip. Yep. If you get this fish over here, they look for Arctic Zip forever. Oh yeah, this, uh, this, this, this trick has been like the the white whale of DKC2 speedrunning mm -hmm. for the longest time. So what happens is you get hit by the fish and then you, you're in the wall and it's like, no, nope, we don't know what to do with you. And it just so happens that the gate for our, the that level is all the way above you right at there, at, right at that angle. So if you get the right angle and you just zip up, you'll just hit the goal, which I think is the correct explanation. The goal post is already loaded. Uh, yeah. If it wasn't loaded, just the trick there. just wouldn't be possible, but it, it is loaded. Yeah, it's right above uh, where you start, so that's like really convenient. And that's why like that, that trick had been theory-crafted for so long, because we were like, hey, if, if we can like find a way to zip uh, into the wall, then uh, we can get to the end uh, really quickly, uh, gamers. And yeah, now we can. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we can. I actually thought about learning Donkey Kong Country 2. You should, it's a good game. I thought I should play it casually first. That, that was sort of my thought. Man, why you gotta do this to me, CJ? Like, <laughs> ne never watched Jurassic Park, never played DKC2. You know what, though? You know, it's because you had to go ahead and make, make a podcast without me. Ah, uh, okay, so, that, so that's revenge. Uh, you know, I'm hurt. <laughs> we're, we're, <laughs> we are hurt, comrade. <laughs> okay, that was really funny. <laughs> that was, that was a good reply, not gonna lie, yeah. That was good, yeah. No, it's alright. You're off the hook a little bit. <laughs> You're off the hook, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Excellent casual game? Yeah, I, I believe it. Mm -hmm. I yeah. believe it. It, 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 it. It's a good casual game. I do think the DKC games have aged really well, and like, I still have to answer to like questions like, "Hey, do you th do you think they should make DKC remakes?" I don't care. Like, I'll I'll, I'll, keep, I'll keep playing those games till I die, man. He's real ride or die about it, folks. Oh yeah. Also, this is the last time we see Rambi in the run, so bye, Rambi. Uh, how much time do we have left in the, uh, in the run? Uh... What's the timer at? We're at 32. Okay, so seven minutes. We're at se- okay. Well, Alright, you got seven minutes to get those donations in or we're gonna miss the incentive. Yep. Go, go, go! How, mu how much dollar are we missing? Uh, we're missing thirty-five dollar. Thirty-five dollar. Okay. Well, it's not. It's not that much. Like you, you guys can do thirty-five dollar in like five minutes. Come on. Now. All right. We're we're coming up against it. Okay. So. Coming up on the DKC2 gauntlet, so call it the gauntlet, because we have this wrong warp, which is the last wrong warp in the run, and we have arguably the hardest level in the game, Toxic Tower, and then we have Screech Sprint, which is impossible when you're on PD pace. Like, literally impossible. Uh, I've fact checked it. Alright, so that's one done. And now I am going to uh, jump my snake. Dude, you jump that snake. Yeah. Shut 
That was Blueberry 26, by the way. Shoutouts. I'm gonna grab halfway because I'm a wuss, and also this is a marathon run. that corner twice is like, uh, confused, perplexed, uh, befuddled, uh, then I got right back on track. Alright, hoggers. And that's it, that's the end of the game. Woohoo, we've rescued Donkey. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Alright, well we did it. Yeah. Wait, what's, um, go what's going on? Where where's Donkey going? This, this was a jabate. Oh, we got jabated. Tragic. We got twenty-five dollars. We are now nine dollars away. Ooh, eyes emoji. I nine dollars and thirty cents. Nice, nice. All right. Uh, natural route. Hell yeah. All right. Well, here we're gonna find out if it happens. We've been bamboozled. So I just got a strat called the jump. The jump saves like, oops, I didn't get a risk it. That's okay. Uh, jams in the chat room. Okay, the jump saves like less than a second. It's really hard to do, but it's also natural route, so you gotta go for it. Especially in marathon runs. dollars and 30 cents you guys still have like two-ish minutes oh it's not happening this is gonna be the one that we miss two-ish minutes two minutes I can't believe the gamers don't want to see blue diddy I can't believe it This fight is pretty much an auto scroller, it's so like not a whole lot gonna happen during it. I'm just gonna swag around, I guess. While waiting for uh ten dollars to come in so that Yeah, we right, so we don't break the sweet so yeah. we don't break the streak. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it'd be a shame if you if you failed. Wink wink. Wink wink. Winky? winky, winky Make winky fun. bigger? Yeah, make Winky bigger, exactly. Everybody scramble! It's the last cycle before uh, Blue Diddy, so like, last chance, last chance. This is this is it. It's the last chance you have. Yeah. I'm refreshing. CJ over there mashing F5. Uh, I'm I'm waiting for it. We got it. We got it. Can you right, be blue? right on fucking time. Holy hell! You guys could not have cut it closer. <laughs> hero of the day. Whoever, whoever, whoever did it. Hero of the day. Hero of the day. What's it? What, what, what's his name? It's loading. Hang on. 
Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Tiltify's being, Tiltify's being a silly bee. Alright, looks like Tiltify has crashed. Nice. I am not tilted by that whatsoever. Oh, get ready on time, by the way, CJ. Uh, what? Get ready on time. Get ready on time. All right. Quo, are you here? Get ready on time. Should be a low 39, let me check. This is a 39.24. Nice! That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Especially with Blue Diddy and that uh, Death and Web Woods. That Death and Web Woods cost me at least 30 seconds. So. We, we, that was the closest donation incentive we've ever had. Please don't do that to me again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be a nice run. Nice run. run in the chat yeah. room. Yep. Uh, pretty good for uh, being rusty at this game. I'll take it for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for the run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you can check out Void. Uh, Quokonaut will uh, will shout out Void. He did earlier. I don't know how to make Quokonaut do stuff. But we're going to take a quick pause for the cause. We're going to pay some bills, keep the lights on. When we come back, we'll be getting set up for our next run, which is. Ratchet and Clank, all gold bolts. Stay tuned. <laughs> 